What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. I'm in my studio today with Ali Sutton and we are shooting some lifestyle fitness kind of casual looks showcasing these shoes she's wearing. Stick around and check it out. So my lights that I've got set up today, I've got three lights. Uh, my first and main light is going to be uh, just this bare ball B10 here that's bounced into the white part of this V flat. And that's just gonna shine a bunch of light, kind of giving you a natural light look into this corner of this white uh, psych wall here. So that's that, that's kind of gonna be my main light just shining uh, and exposing for the entire image. And then my second light here, I've got a gridded beauty dish, another B10, that's kind of just up overhead as butterfly light, and that's just gonna hit her. The grid is gonna prevent any of that light from spilling onto the background. Uh, and then my third light is going to be back here, and that's the Profoto B1. And I've got an optical snoot on there with kind of a tropical uh, insert, kind of looks like palm trees, and also a red gel. So the red gel combined with the full exposure of the of this light bounce into the V-flat, it's kind of going to turn that red a bit pink. And that's going to you know, go really nicely with her pink outfit that she's wearing. So we chose this outfit just because we've got kind of a pink theme going on with the nice light. So it's very light, bright, with just a subtle hint of pink in both her outfit and on the background. I didn't want it to be too in your face pink, but it's just enough to where it doesn't distract you from the product itself. Um, so let's go and shoot just a little bit and we'll show you what the final image looks like. All right, now I wanna show you what it looks like with each individual light kind of by themselves. You really see the impact that each light has. Uh, I brought down my seamless so to cover up this big window that was back here because we were getting a little bit of too much ambient exposure there. Um, but what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and just solo the first light. So that's just gonna be this B10 bounced into this white V-flat. And again, what that's gonna do is that's going to just kind of illuminate the entire scene. Just be a very flat light. She's kind of facing that direction. So it's, she's not gonna have a ton of defined features, uh, but it's a great light to just kind of get, throw light into the entire scene. So let's take a look at what this looks like. And now what I wanna do, so as you can see, that's just a nice clean light. I'm gonna turn that light off and I wanna turn on the light that is back here with the optical snoot and the red gel. And without the, the main light on there, we are actually going to have a much more uh, kind of saturated red. When I combine these two, however, if I combine both of these lights over here, that red is gonna turn into a pink, which is actually what we wanted because what you're doing is you're taking a neutral color in this V-flat light and a red and mixing them together, it's kind of like when you're mixing white paint and red paint, it's gonna turn kind of pinkish, so you get a very desaturated look, uh, which works well with the pink outfit she has on. So let's go ahead and turn both of those lights off and just turn on this, this light with the, uh, this has a grid and a beauty dish. And again, the grid is just going to allow less light to hit that background. So it's still hitting a little bit, but it's not nearly as much as, you know, if it was, uh, you know, no grid. What I also can do is I can bring this down a little bit and I can kind of angle this down just a little bit too. Just by playing with that, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce even more of the, uh, of the light hitting that background. So now that I moved it a little closer though, let's go ahead and turn the power down a little bit. I brought that light closer, so if it's closer, that's more light hitting her face, so I brought it down half a stop. All right, so that's a pretty good starting point with all my lights there. So let's go ahead and turn all of them back on, and then we can see what the entire image looks like. One more thing that I want to talk about too is uh, the settings I have on my camera. So 
Uh, my shutter speed is 250th of a second. Whatever your shutter sync speed is, that's great. Um, I've got my aperture at f4. And what I wanna talk about is my ISO. I've talked about this in some previous videos. Uh, I've actually got my ISO at 800. And the reason for that is, once again, I had it at ISO 100, it worked fine, but I was waiting for the lights to recycle uh, and it just wasn't quite working for the flow we wanted with the shoot. So bumped up the ISO, turned the power of the lights down. Now I'm able to shoot at a much faster pace and we can get kind of what we want in a much quicker amount of time. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow VFlat World. Check them out online at vflatworld.com as well. Uh, if you wanna see any of my personal work, check me out on Instagram at readylightmedia or at my website at nextlevelworkshops.com. Big thanks to Ali Sutton for helping us out and I'll see you next time.